My boy, everyone, Mark Chess here. Welcome to the channel. And today, I will be giving you my full performance review of these awesome sneakers. So let's go. So right in front of me is the Nike GT Run or the Greater Run, part of the Greater Than series from Nike. It's one of three. So the first one was the GT Cut and which is one of my favorites too. Now this is a GT run and lastly soon to release is the GT jump. The upper features a very synthetic mesh and like I said in my unboxing it is very rigid, it is quite stiff, but after playing with them with quite but after playing with them quite some time the upper kind of softens up which is good because at first it was really really making that crunchy noise this crunchy noise when I am bending but after several use it lessened but it's still there but it is not as stiff as the first time I used them and what's nice about this material for the upper of the GT run is even though it's not the most comfortable upper of the sneaker but Nike made sure that this material will give you the maximum support and while I was playing with this, even though the cushion is kind of thick, so you're kind of higher off the ground, you would feel very supportive for the upper of the sneaker, like from the forefoot to the heel. It feels very supportive. Like I said, it's not the most comfortable, but it is one of the most supportive materials out in the market. Plus, it is very thin, it's very light. So the ventilation of the upper is really there. You can see some holes on the upper near the heel part of the sneaker and even if you go in the forefoot part it is still very thin so you can see this material so ventilation wise overall for the sneaker is very very nice and as for the tongue part which i said that i wish that they added some extra padding around the tongue it is still very well ventilated plus the tongue was really stiff at first but after several use like the upper it softened up like I've said in my unboxing, the lack of cushioning or padding around the tongue is still there but it is not as uncomfortable as I thought it will be. So you would still feel the laces right around your ankle but as you break in the sneaker, eventually you will forget about that problem. Now moving on to the heel part of the sneaker, as you can see there's padding here but it's just for aesthetics because in the inside, there's not much padding around this heel part but there is some padding around the ankle bone which is nice so the materials is really thin but this padding was really nice around your ankle bone which i wish that they also implemented in the tongue but that's just a little gripe in my end and moving on to the heel part of the sneaker there's enough achilles pillows at the back of the sneaker so heel containment there's an internal heel cup and it's very hard so you're very well cup you're very well contained around the ankle and heel no heel slippage on the runs plus another thing that helps out in the cupping of the sneaker is of course the cushion really goes up in the lateral part of the sneaker so you can see this mountain curves here and even on the medial side you can see that mountain curves and even at the heel part or back part of the sneaker so your heel is really cupped and also your midfoot and forefoot and especially around the forefoot this lateral part this cushion really goes up too and when I was really exaggerating for a hard lateral cut the cushion really cuts my foot even though the cushion is really thick and you're high off the ground but you feel very well contained in the sneaker which I found really surprising because I was expecting it to be unstable but in my surprise, it really is a very supportive sneaker given the thick cushioning of the GT runs. Now speaking of the cushion, of course this is the full length React foam and it's nicely carved. Like I said in the unboxing, it has these grooves on the entire React so it gives little more flexibility on the React foam and more compression or give to the React foam and the density of the React foam of the GT runs compared to like Epic React. This is much more denser, so it's more stable compared to the ones for the running category. They really tuned the React foam for a basketball sneaker and comparing it to the React foam, the Zoom BB Next, this is much denser or harder, but it really gives you it's a very bouncy React foam plus a very nice impact protection. 
The React foam on the heel is this thick, right about here. So it's a really thick React foam. So you have excellent impact protection, the heel plus extra bounciness. And of course in the forefoot, the cushion is just not React in the forefoot, but there's two layers of zoom unit in the forefoot. One is the forefoot zoom struggle plus under it is another zoom unit making this GT run a very bouncy sneaker. And you would feel it when you're running with the sneaker. When you're just walking, you wouldn't feel the bounciness that much. And the more that you break in the GT runs, the more it becomes bouncier. So I am really impressed right now with the GT runs. The first time that I used them, it was kind of stiff, especially the upper, the cushioning was kind of stiff. But after the second, third, fourth run that I wore the sneaker, it became a lot softer and bouncier and really impressed with the cushioning setup of the GT runs. Plus, plus the support, like I said a while ago, that it is a really supportive sneaker from the upper that doesn't stretch at all. It's very supportive. Plus the cushion that cradles your foot very well. For a very thick cushioning setup sneaker, it really gives you the maximum support that you need for this kind of setup. Plus another thing that I like about the cushion of the GT runs is it is kind of cut out. So it kind of gives you a very decoupled feel for an outsole. So it has a very nice heel to toe transition and it has a very nice spring back. I think there's a plate here in the middle. Yeah, I think there's a plate. It's very springy. It's like one of Nike's running sneaker that has a carbon fiber plate in the middle. This one really springs back a lot. And when you're running with it, and when you play with the GT runs more, it becomes nicer over time. This sneaker needs extra breaking time compared to the other sneakers that are currently being released. After breaking them in, you would be surprised with the performance that the GT run will be giving you. Another thing that gives the GT run extra support is coming from the outsole. You can see the outsole protruding here as a lateral outrigger. It is very similar to the outriggers found in the Kobe 6 and the Kobe 5. And I am really, really digging those lateral outriggers on those sneakers. So this lateral outrigger really gives you extra stability to the sneaker. Even though the GT cut is not that wide in the forefoot, but it still gives you a very nice stable ride to the sneaker. Now let's talk about the rubber material of the outsole. The grooves are widely apart. They are deep. And at first, it was kind of hard. And here in Manila, it has been raining nonstop for almost two weeks. And I've been playing with the moist floor every now and then. In the moist floor, at first, it wasn't sticking because of how hard the rubber compound is on the GT runs. But after using them more, breaking them in more, so a lot of breaking time needed on the GT runs. And over time, the rubber material became a lot softer, a lot more pliable. So it bends more right now. So it sticks more to the floor right now compared to the first two runs that I've used the GT runs. And right now, they have been gripping really nicely on the floor. The GT runs really needs a lot of breaking time from the outsole cushion and the upper of the sneaker. And after that, I think you will be impressed with the GT runs. And as for outdoor use, even though this is not an EP version or an XDR rubber, but the rubber is still very hard. The grooves are very deep, like I've said. And I think outdoor use every now and then for the GT runs is okay. As for the sizing of the GT runs, go true to size. It is a kind of a narrow sneaker. For me, a half size down would be perfect for the length, but I think around the midfoot, it will be really snug. So for a regular footer, go true to size. And if you're a wide footer, go half a size up. And as for the price point of the GT runs, it is 9,600 pesos. Currently out of the two greater than sneakers that have been released, this is the more expensive one. The GT Cut is around 8,600 pesos. This is 9,600 pesos. So this is a very pricey sneaker. I think it's because of the React foam and the two zoom units in the forefoot of the sneaker. Plus, I forgot to mention about the very nice insole, the React insole, which I mentioned in my unboxing that it's like in the Kobe's. So I stand corrected in that. It's a React insole. It's really nice. It's very comfortable for your feet. For my verdict for the GT runs, at first, you wouldn't be too impressed with the GT runs, but give it a chance. 
give some time to it bake it in and eventually after a little more time breaking this in compared to the other sneakers you will slowly be impressed with the gt runs so that's it on my performance review of the nike gt runs let me know what you think about the sneaker do you want to cop this or have you played with them let me know your thoughts on the sneaker hit me a comment down below this has been marches once again thank you for dropping by i'll catch you in the next one cheers